Adaptations. Feet. An adaptation is a feature that helps a living thing to survive. There are many types of adaptations. The shape and structure of feet are important adaptations for many animal species. In this video, we will show you some of the feet adaptations of animals in Illinois. Webbed feet. Most mammals and birds that spend a lot of time in water have webbed feet. The webbing is a piece of flat skin between the surface of the toes. It pushes against the water column, making movement of the animal easier. Ducks and geese are birds with webbed feet. The American beaver and North American river otter are among the aquatic mammals that have webbing on some or all of their feet. The American bullfrog is an example of an aquatic amphibian with webbed feet. Turtle species that live in water most of the time generally have some webbing on their feet for swimming. The eastern mole's front feet face sideways and its toes are webbed. It uses the front feet to help it move dirt as it digs an underground burrow. Lobed feet. The American coot lives in marshes and other wetlands and spends time in both water and on land. It has lobes on the feet that can be used to help it swim in water, but that fold back when the coot is walking on land. These feet also aid the coot in running across water as it prepares to fly from the water. Clinging and perching. Animals that use their feet for clinging have strong toes, often with sharp claws. Bats use their feet to hold on to the roof or side of their roost while they rest upside down. The back feet of the Virginia opossum have an opposable toe that works much like your thumb. It allows the opossum to grasp all the way around small branches. Perching birds usually have three toes that face forward and one that faces backwards. This arrangement allows them to encircle branches completely with each foot. An osprey has talons on its feet for grabbing and tearing its fish prey but it also has scales on the bottom of its feet to help it cling to these slippery animals as it flies away with its catch. Digging A fox has claws for digging and foot pads that can be spread out to help remove dirt from the hole being dug. An American badger has front feet shaped like scoops that it uses to dig quickly in the ground. The eastern mole's front feet face sideways. These are broad and webbed and can be used to push dirt as the mole digs an underground tunnel. The eastern spadefoot has hard structures, like spades, on its back feet used for digging. It digs rear end first using its hind feet and spends most of its time underground. Female turtles have strong claws that help them dig a hole in which they lay their eggs. Grooming Barn owls, herons, and the common nighthawk are examples of birds with the pectinate claw. This structure works something like a comb to help them groom their feathers. The American beaver has a split claw on the second toe of each back foot. It uses this claw to groom its fur. Exchanging heat. Countercurrent heat exchange is an adaptation to keep the feet warm. It works well on animals like ducks and geese that stand on ice or swim in very cold water but do not have much external covering for their feet. Blood entering the foot is warm. It releases some of the warmth to the feet. The blood that leaves the feet is cooler than the blood that entered the feet. The vessels carrying blood to the heart from the feet develop next to the vessels that are taking warmer blood from the heart to the feet. The cooler blood absorbs some of the warmth from the warmer blood, 
helping to maintain a constant temperature in the animal. Hooves. White-tailed deer are among the animals that walk on their toenails. They have a hard surface, a hoof, to cover and protect the part of the foot that they walk on. The hoof is made of keratin. You have keratin too. It makes up your hair and fingernails. The hooves grow continually to replace the old surface that gets worn away. Walking on the toes. Foxes and coyotes are examples of species that walk on their toes. Their feet have soft, tough pads on the bottom. The pads help to reduce the force on the animal's bones when the foot hits the ground. Retractable claws. The bobcat can pull its long, sharp claws into its pads. It leaves the claws retracted most of the time to keep them in good shape for when the bobcat needs to use them. Talons. A talon is a long, sharp, hooked claw at the end of the toe in birds of prey and some other predatory animals. It is used in capturing, transporting, and eating prey items. Climbing. Woodpeckers have two toes that point forward and two toes that point backward. Along with their sharp claws, this foot adaptation allows the birds to easily move up and down along the trunk of a tree or other object. Claws There are many claw types, and some of them have been discussed already in this video. The wild turkey is an example of a bird with strong claws on the toes. It uses them to scratch in dirt and leaf litter as it looks for insects to eat. Male turtles use their long front claws in courtship displays and to hold on to the female shell during mating. Long toes. Shorebirds spend a lot of time walking, wading, or running. Their long, thin toes provide them with stability on wet sand or mud.